woman is singing. She cannot read, she cannot write her name, but the voice that lives inside her makes her strong. It calls a thousand other voices into song. It breaks the sullen silence of the sky. It wakes the ragged children who must scavenge to survive. And shakes the soundproof citadel where paper deals are made a world away with a warning. Before the squads of armoured cars and uniforms, the children are singing. They face the clubs, the tear gas, and the guns with their voices and the vision that they share a song that blossoms in the dry land of despair it mocks the power of the death machine it sparks beneath the earth a fire raging to be free and rocks the mighty mausoleum walls where laws are made a world away with a warning the razor wire around the missile base. A small bird is singing, the soldier cursing the insistent voice, marks its flight, takes careful aim and then lets fly, and sees exploding feathers tumble from the sky. Yet still the startled soldier hears it rise, that trilling, surging song that fills the hollow of the skies and filters through the bunker walls where battle plans are laid a world away with a warning. Voices, where the dawn and darkness meet, out of the bleakness of defeat, when there's no choice but to refuse, when there is nothing left to lose. Voices defy the profitable deals that buy the power to turn the wheels, that speed the line and clear the way, and raise whatever doesn't pay. Voices defy the club, the bat and round, the riot squad, the killing ground, the legalised injustices, the law that sanctifies what is. Voices defy the death mask on the face, the barbed wire around the missile base, the solemn calculated lie, the patriotic battle cry. Voices, can we be silent when we hear those voices call?